Do you like eating cookies? Well, you better not eat this one. This funny story is by Laura Dockerell and it's called Angry Cookie. You nosy noodle! Don't even think about turning the page. I am warning you. I am very angry. And there is nothing you can do about it. You are so annoying. Mind your own business. Goodbye. The end. Uh, hello? <clears throat> hint, hint, meaning. Go away! Close this book now! She's very angry. Ah, uh, still here, are you? Well, well, well. I guess if you are planning on sticking around, perhaps I could tell you a little bit about why I'm so angry. That doesn't mean we're going to be friends or anything. Did I get any funny ideas? It all started yesterday when my flatmate Barbara, who was my practice, got out her new recorder. She only knows this one terrible song and keeps playing it over and over again. I hate the recorder and you're not even allowed to use the word hate, but I just did so there. And then all the delicious, yummy strawberry pudding toothpaste ran out. So I had to use the grown-up spicy one. I don't like the grown-up ones. Ah, it burns. And then I had to get my hair cut. It was all dripping in my eyes, you see. Cookies need haircuts too, you know. But I let my barber try out a new look on me. And my hair looks the worst. So, now I have to wear this hat, and no hat to even fit on top of my big round head because I'm a cookie. Ha, ah, look at that cookie wearing the too small hat for himself, he he ha ha. And they don't make hats for cookies, do they? One, two, one, oh, oops. Fuming, I then took myself and the hat to the ice cream parlour. I had my mind set on the best, most wonderful vanilla sundae with hot caramel sauce, whipped cream and marshmallows and a flake with hundreds and thousands and chocolate sprinkles and even a red cherry on top served in the tall glass. That sounds nice. But they had run out of the best, most wonderful vanilla sundae with hot caramel sauce and whipped cream and marshmallows and a flake with hundreds and thousands and chocolate sprinkles and even the red cherry. They did have a tall glass, but it was empty. What's the point of getting the Sunday's glass if you've got nothing in it? No! On, a, on the way home, a bear tried to snack on me. Get off, show, I shouted. But I don't think cookies often get hard. Maybe that is why I am so angry at the whole world. Because nobody listens to me, nobody sticks around. Although I guess you are still here, aren't you? Well, that is a nice surprise. I guess my haircut isn't so bad. Perhaps I could maybe take this too small hat off? And actually, Oh, this song isn't so annoying when you get used to it. Maybe my glass isn't so empty after all. Who needs an ice cream when I have you? You keep coming back. Do you listen to me even when I'm being a grumpy lump, a meanie moody, moany mongoose, a sulky sandwich, a horrid hunt, an angry cookie? You're still here. And that makes me a bit not so angry anymore. In fact, I feel rather happy. And that is why you keep coming back. Thank you.
thanks for that, friend. <laughs> oh, Barbara. The end. <laughs> well, that was a funny story. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.